Hello. You know, I gotta be honest, I'm kinda tired. I've had a busy last couple of days, and I was thinking about percentages here. Well, I tried to doubt myself into coming to do the videos. Not very much though, it wasn't very effective. <laughs> it wasn't like I lingered over it for <laughs> 10 minutes and thought, oh, maybe I'll just wait. It was maybe two times, but I thought, it's kind of late, I'm kind of tired. And I said, you know what? Get off your butt and go do the darn video. This is for you. And you want to get it done, so go do it. So it's been a good last couple of days. Well, I take that back. The last 24 hours was not so challenging. Or filled with bad news as the first day was. Got some things done with my credit cards, updated some information I need to update. I spend a little time with my puppies. Haven't really. Uh, oh, I did get my uh, script copyrighted, so. Oh, yeah, you yeah, know, that's a good point. I got my script copyrighted. So. I can officially talk about my new script. Yeah. So the script, see this is how random this could be. Sometimes there's a topic and sometimes it's just me. Rambling on like a monkey in a tree. So I, wrote a script, I want to say it's, oh gosh, what has it been? Going on two and a half weeks ago, I wrote a script, almost three, almost three, just shy of three actually, called Fair is Fair, F-A-R-E, and then the second fair is F-A-I-R. And I won't give you away too much of the title or of the storyline, but I will tell you, I'll share with you the tagline. The tagline is tonight's last pickup will be one ride this driver won't soon forget. And I had four people reading, give me notes out of the 11 I asked, aside from my family. My family gave me feedback as well. And I determined that older women, 50 plus, more mature women is a better choice of words, between the ages of, or just 50 and up, do not seem to connect to the material as well as others. They weren't insulting. They were just, you know, this isn't my cup of tea. I was essentially it. And that's fine. It helps to know where the market is for something you're writing. So I have a goal this week of finishing the first draft, working draft of my second script, short film script, and, and then um, I'll need some stuff on my website this week, get my apartment in good order, get this handicap bar up so that uh, my mom can it's really not a handicap bar, it's a, um, an, assistant, an assistant bar. It's really not about 
being handicapped, it's not, you know, older people can need them just as much as younger people. It's an assistance bar for people who have trouble with um, mobility to some or limitations in mobility for whatever reason because of an accident or, you know, general health issues. So I'm gonna get that installed this week. And looking forward to getting all those things done. I've been doing really well with, I'm very consistent about keeping my computer, the newest one I have, keeping it really cleaned out. And I'm really proud of that because that's important. And there's a lot of occasions where we let things pile up in our computer. It's old and just clogs hard drive and the whole thing. And I've been pretty good about making sure that the computer doesn't have that. So I'm glad about that. It's a positive thing. Uh, we did find out yesterday the uh, date and time for my colleague's funeral. <clears throat> and so it's happening basically a week after he was killed. The person who uh, caused the accident has been arrested uh, for drinking, for uh, being under the influence, intoxicated, twice the legal limit. And they have a $100,000 bond. So, Hopefully, he will be sitting in jail short term, and then once the trial is over, long term. I understand he has an addiction, but you also killed someone. So you need treatment, but you also need to face serious consequences not just for this, but for another incident, which apparently he was not charged on. So, I hope he gets his treatment and learns about the problems of addic his addiction. So he, or deal with, um, I hope he gets treatment and deals with the causes of his addiction and then has serious time to consider how he permanently damaged a family for his poor conduct and hopefully finds a way to give back to the world. That's the most we can all hope, right? Whether it's writing stories or hoping to become a support system for other people who are addicts while he's inside the prison, but he's going up for vehicular manslaughter. So, but it's, it's necessary. So there's that. What else is there? I'm a little disappointed in the way this political cycle is going. Apparently, there have been a few more emails released that show Hillary Clinton lied under oath to Congress. And I have not heard this personally, but someone told me that Congress, but they heard a report. So in other words, information from someone who got information from someone, very third party, um, that Congress has requested 
that Obama charge Clinton. And I would like to say that I will be very scared the day that he charges Hillary Clinton because I'm not really in the mood to keep looking up to the sky, hoping that those flying pigs don't take a dump on me. So, really, if she's charged with perjury for that, I cannot understand why under any, any circumstance, you would allow her to represent the Democrat party. And if he says, well, I'm not going to charge her, or Loretta Lynch, who's the attorney general, says she's not going to charge her, then you've just once again proven that they are above any law. And you can't use this excuse of, well, it's an election cycle, and that wouldn't be appropriate. There's not an appropriate time to charge someone if that, what does that mean? If she does it, if she gets elected, then you just drop it. It's illogical. It's also unbalanced. So you should charge her now, and she should be eliminated from the race. And bring either Tim McCain, Tim Kane, Tim McCain. That's his name. Up to run as the lead for the Democrat Party, and have him select another VP candidate or prove once again that there is no balance and that the hierarchy of government have no rules compared to the rest of us. Glad I'm doing this. Really feel good about it. I don't like to have the same tank top every day. <laughs> I know I'm going to cycle through it because there's no way I'm going to buy 365 or round about that many tank tops. But I do like to have variety <laughs> in the look. This one's the surf roll. So, I've gotten some very nice comments on Facebook about uh, the post that I shared that I wrote about this gentleman who passed. It's in the news, so it's not something that is really a secret. I don't want to use this as a platform to necessarily over to try to sort of publicize it, but the gentleman's name was, who was uh, killed, who you can look up if you want to, his name was Brian Manring, M-A-N-R-I-N-G, and he was only 36 years old. listening to Kenny Loggins tonight did not realize how many good songs he had or he has in his library of songs catalog of songs there's a lot of good songs actually a couple I never heard of until this morning Let's see, what am I going to do today? And today I want to focus on cleaning my apartment thoroughly, making some decisions about things that I don't need, and making some decisions on classes that I want to mount in September. 
those are three goals for today. And I'll share with you tomorrow how they look. Maybe a picture. Oh, you know, I love it when I have random thoughts. It makes me think about ideas I have. So, I've come up with an idea for the cardio vlogs in the future. It's not an immediate one. But I'm thinking about trying to figure out rig a gizmo where I can mount either the phone or my GoPro and strap it to my side somehow to where it's like right here on my right side and the camera's out in front roughly eye level maybe a little lower because of the wide frame and get some interesting people that I would like to talk with and get their opinions on things and go for a good 20 minute walk or so and just have a conversation that you can watch and listen to while you're doing your cardio. I think that would be really fun. A really nice twist and addition. So I'm gonna work on that. See what I can do to figure that out. Because I'd really like to do that. There's a lot of interesting people out there. And as a writer, as an actor, I'm quite enamored with character study. Understanding where people come from, their views on things, how they got there. So I think that's really interesting. So I'm going to work on that for the future. I don't know that that'll happen this season. Perhaps it's a good goal. But I'd like to get outside of the confines of just one room and not just me speaking all the time and maybe share some conversations with some other people. I love talking with people, learning where they come from. I can jabber on all the time because I have opinions and like to talk about ideas and things I've learned and things I've seen. But I think there's something special about hearing other people's views and opening your mind and your heart to that. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm resisting the urge to look at the clock. Possible it's because of fatigue. It's possible it's because I'm sweating. <laughs> but um, I'm resisting that urge because I don't want to start doing this countdown in my brain. I want to be in the moment and exist right here with you and myself and not get caught up on counting to the next minute because then I lose this minute. Let's see what else would I like to accomplish. I noticed that, um, oh, you know, I learned something interesting for this new series I'm pointing to do called 2222, which is um, 22 push-ups over the course of 22 days. And apparently this is a thing related to veterans because apparently on average, uh, 22 veterans uh, commit suicide. I believe they commit suicide or die every day in the United States. A tragic number and now that I've learned that because I'm a big supporter of our troops you don't have to be a big supporter of the government as a whole to be supportive of the people who put their lives on the line for us and I am a big supporter police military of course they're not perfect this is a redundant statement because everyone should know this, but there is no such thing as a perfect person. We all have flaws. We have to do our best to evolve and to develop 
quality skills, but my point is, I'm thinking that I want to try and find some way of raising money for veterans to give to some of these societies because I really, really want to give something back to the world. And I know that a lot of people would like to do the same thing and perhaps we can do that through this project. I know The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, I challenged someone recently, yesterday as a matter of fact, and that was when I learned that the 2222 push-up challenge is about uh, veterans. That's how it started. So I'm going to do a little twist with it um, when you see the series start because I really want to do this unique little twist to that uh, to make it more entertaining, uh, kind of educational, uh, do some self-discovery. At the same time, we're making a positive impact. So let's Let's keep thinking about it. If you have any ideas about the 2222 challenge that you think would be positive, then let me know uh, ways to benefit organizations you think are worthwhile. Because I do think it's uh, an incredibly valuable cause. And it's only 22 days. If we can't do 22 days of push-ups, then I I don't know. I just, it just, I think it says a lot about how passionate we really are about helping other people, especially people who put their lives on the line for our country and run into a firefight or, you know, surround themselves with landmines when they don't have to do that. We're not in a draft stage. So, real quickly, if I can get it out before they stop. My idea is during that challenge of 22 days, every day I do a different topic. So childhood memories, cities in the United States. Now I'm thinking potentially veterans lost serving our country, not names specifically, because I don't think that would be fair to just do 22 names. But if we could do perhaps, you know, or maybe 22 days, 22 push-ups each day, and 22 names each day for the course of 22 days of people who died serving our country. That's interesting too. That's an interesting idea. Or one day that's about 22 occasions in which we lost people who served our country and how they uh, they died. Uh, whether it be you know World War II, World War One, Korea, Vietnam. The light. So I'm gonna keep thinking on that idea. I'm really glad we started talking about this. Gosh, I just one of the things I just love is when you really kind of get moving. You'd be amazed how your the blood flows and your brain just starts to just sort of fire. I love snapping. I think that's kind of cool. In some ways, sometimes it's annoying. Three snaps in a circle formation. That was really not a circle. That was. A very flattened soccer ball. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get out of here. Take care of yourself. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Be well.